So let's begin with let's begin with the society. There's four areas here. You've got the society, the historical period, the culture, and the style. Obviously, the society is the status of the characters, or what we talked about before. The historical period is when it's set compared to when yours is set. The culture is the beliefs of the people in that society, and then the style is the way that the story is told. Okay, and in this case, this is um, told as a naturalistic narrative. It's um, it's a linear story from start to finish with no non-naturalistic elements in it. How is that different to the way that you do your story? And in a moment, you'll turn on the back of this sheet and you'll fill in from the four perspectives. You'll work as a you can work as a group in your groups, and you can talk about the four different areas that your piece has in it. So first of all. Yeah. Did we get a, a sheet on us on our own map band as we did last year? Um, do you mean um, do you mean when I give you the marks back? No, because like last year you gave us a sheet with like mark band three on. Oh, and I gave you something to I gave you something to aim for. Yeah. Um, no, but what I will do is I will put up on the website a mark band breakdown for you to have a look at. Okay, so you know that you know where. You roughly things lie. I've put up on the website already some exemplar essays. One of them's got a 4 out of 10, one of them's got a 6 out of 10, and one of them's got a 10 out of 10. So you can have a look at what good essays look like and what average essays look like. Is that all right? Okay, so the four areas. Let's start off with the society. Um, we're talking to people, um, good night Mr. Tom is, saw, is set in the society of people with lower classes where they were sent away to the country. Um, during the wartime in Britain, as you all know, the evacuees were sent away because the Germans and uh, and the enemy were were targeting towns at that time, towns that had industry and what have you. So they sent them away to the country to live with families, and that was kind of the lower classes that went away. I've put in this section, in this column, uh, it's just some questions for you to consider, such as, does the class of person affect how domestic violence is seen, for instance? Do you have a scene in yours which has a different class of people that has an upper class of people um, where you know you, you don't quite sort of um, you don't quite sort of see domestic violence in the same way that you would with the with the lower classes. Um, so we've got working class families in Good Night, Mr. Tom. And the young boy is abused because his mother is mentally ill. And now, if you think about the um, society at the time, this also crosses over into a historical period. Mental illness was not considered to be a, a legitimate illness, really, okay? Um, and the other interesting thing to note on there is, just put your hand up and tell me, how would her behaviour be seen as to some people in that society? How do you think her, her behaviour, the woman, would, would be seen as to, to some people in that society? Jake? She's, she's violent and a little bit of a nutter, yeah? normal. Why do you think normal? She's got like no man around the house and she's by herself with two of the children and one she abuses and one's just crying on crying. Yeah. It could have been seen as normal, but what you've got to remember in this society is if you go down to the culture here, there was a at this time uh, children should be seen and not heard. Hitting children as a form of discipline was a normal thing in that society. Yeah? That's not really accepted in this society today. So actually I think yeah, she could have been seen, oh yeah, it's the local nut down the street, yeah, she's a bit she's a bit off a rocker, but at the same time, she disciplines her children the same way that other people discipline their children, you know, she smacks them, and that's fairly normal. So, to pick out abuse in that situation would have been more difficult than today, because, um, because smacking is not seen as a legitimate form of punishment by the, the vast majority of society, yeah? She just takes it a step too far, um, so like, instead of just hitting him, she hits him in my hands and harder and stuff like that. So, so, arguments aside of whether smacking a child is an appropriate form of punishment, she, you might say that she takes it a step too far, but the society might not recognise that, because it all happens behind closed doors, okay? And that's, um, and that's uh, something in the culture here. Things went on behind closed doors at this time. How is that different or similar to today? Don't answer it now. Okay? So, you've got a historical period. We're talking about wartime Britain here. World War II Britain. Britain was dealing with a lot of difficulties at this time. I've 
put a question here, how does the historical period affect what happens with regards to domestic violence? Because at this time, domestic violence wasn't seen as much as it, uh, as much as it is now, how did people deal with it? Okay, the twitching curtains maybe, you know, the neighbours across the street. Domestic violence was not really dealt with in this country until, believe it or not, the 1990s. Okay, the very early 90s was a time when a campaign came out in this country called uh, Zero Tolerance for Women. Okay, and a lot of cases of child abuse from the generation before our generation came to the fore and people started telling about their experiences as, a, as children of how they were abused, okay? And domestic violence became more of, a, a, of an accepted norm in society, but people started charities to start doing things about it, okay? So you need to consider how that was different back in wartime Britain, okay? And another question I put here, how, um, how do the beliefs... Oh, I've, just, I've just said that, haven't I? Okay, I was... How do the beliefs of the society affect the way that the domestic violence is dealt with, okay? Because the beliefs of the society was very much that children should be brought up with the cane, with the rod, okay? Domestic violence was harder to pick out in that situation, right? As I said about style, the film is in a naturalistic narrative, okay? It's just told from start to finish from the point of view of the child and from the point of view of Mr. Oakley. How does your piece tell your story? Okay, How is it different? How is it similar? Are there any parts of your piece? I mean, first of all, you're doing a devised piece, so therefore you're doing different scenes from different eras. Okay, So that's one big um, difference to start with. You get the law marks when you say that. The law marks are when you say, well, our piece deals with lots of different different society, societies in different times and different types of domestic violence but this is just from one time. The high marks come when you say why you did it that way. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it there. I think that kind of, um, kind of just sums it up really. On the other side you've got the four areas here. I'd like you to go away in your groups and just sit at a table and just fill in that and when you fill that in you can fill in this this table here, which, and I just want you to note down the similarities and the differences, okay, between the two. This will go up on the website so you can refer to it in case, um, in case you have any difficulties. For now, are there any questions?